That might be one of the most brutal javies out of calf unit that I've ever seen. Hello everyone and welcome back. Here we are back with some Rome 2 Total War and we are on my favorite settlement and that is Tarsus. Now you can see we've got a intense beginning here. We got a lot of step lancers from Chimeria coming out and being a real hassle to uh, the attackers here. Uh, you can see one of them just broke here to a bunch of riders of the hunt and some noble riders. But he's got a couple more units over here. One there, and then one over here. Now, this is a 4v4. I'm trying to remember, this might have been part of a stream. I can't remember. It's been a, it's been a few weeks since we did this battle. I know that much. Might even be over a month. But for the attackers... You know what? I just realized I forgot to get all the names of the players. I know for myself, I know I am Colchis. I remember that Mexi is Bowie I. I believe Tidirond is Chimeria. And I hate to say that's all that I remember. Um, we will see the names at the end of the battle. That's all right. I apologize. Usually I write down all the names to the attackers and defenders and uh, I completely forgot to. And I figured, you know what? We're already in it. Let's just keep going. How about that? And once again, I apologize if my voice is a little off. Once again, I am recording. I'm trying to record a little bit earlier in the day just to, uh, you know, give me so, some free time at the end of the night after work so I can, you know, hang out in the Discord and play games with people. Um, but I will say I do have coffee with me this time. I have coffee, and I hope that that will improve things over time. So this is an interesting fight because one of the big things here is the attackers didn't bring any artillery none nada zilch so i think you're gonna see as the battle progresses why that wasn't a good thing oh that was weird a little bit of a stutter there Man, it does not seem to enjoy that, that oil pouring down, does it? I was hoping, and I think I did. Yeah, I think I did draw some of them into this. I think some of my men got hit too, but, you know, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not that worried. You can see I actually caused a lot of damage here, sallying out of this gate. So we got a Carthage, Arverni, Egypt, and Swaby as the attackers. For the defenders, we've got Colchis, Chimeria, Boei, and Syracuse. I do remember that this was random factions, and I do remember feeling very, very, very bad about the faction selections. Um, it, it's not a great faction matchup, just to be perfectly honest with you. Us as the defenders do not have a great uh, matchup here, so we'll see how it ends up going. You know, anytime you get 100 kills almost out of Hillman, you're you're pretty happy with that. Now, in the breach over here, you can see Carthage is charging in. Got some Carly Axemen holding back some mercenary Italian swords. Up top here, what is this, Samnite Warriors? Over on the right, we also have an engagement. Actually, a little bit of a sally out here by Bowie I and Syracuse. Iberian swords here from Carthage kind of getting beat up. Carthage doesn't seem to want to advance over in this side. And to be perfectly honest with you, we're probably not going to get much of a true advance on over here. This is a kind of a death trap here due to this wall angle here. But to be perfectly honest with you, what this is going to allow, since they brought no artillery, it's basically going to allow that we can set up whatever we want, wherever we want it. We, we can set up, we can stack 15 things on top of each other with no repercussions. As you wish. Now over here... Axeman, Hillman 74, and 113. Like I said, like, 
for Hillman, I am not upset with that at all. We've got some Celtic Warriors up here now, Mercenary Italian Swords with 80 kills, but 80 kills on Hillman, remember. Bowie, I are being really aggressive. Honestly, we were all being really aggressive here. 91 kills on the Celtics, a fresh Celtic, and then a Arbarian Sword with 51 kills. Now, Tidiron as Chimeria does have two more units of Step Lancers coming around the back. I remember that we were dealing with a little bit of lag because I remember uh, Tiddy was a little uh, irritated because he couldn't, you know, the, the more lag there is with things like cavalry, the more chance that the enemy sees you. You know, with cavalry, things get so engrossed here. You know, you're so concentrated on doing things in this spot that you have a habit of missing things running around behind you. And when things are really laggy, that increases the chances and the time that they have to see your sneaky sneaky. I think Swaby brought longbow hunters because we can't see his archers. Longbow hunters have stock. Or snipe, snipe, excuse me. Actually, they might have both, to be honest with you. You can see the attackers did break down a wall here, but they don't seem too intent on attacking it. Thorough Spears and Sam Knight were just holding that breach. I've got two Peltis. That's right. I forgot I brought two Peltis and... Oh, okay, okay. So we did a special rule on this battle that we allow... We were you could either bring four archers or you could bring three archers and two Peltis. Because I have three Eastern archers and I've got two Peltis over here. That's, that's right. That's, I'm kind of remembering as we go. Celtic warrior fell back behind a thorax sword. The Celtic, the Arverni Celtic, won't have too many. Um, we'll have a bit of trouble, is what I'm trying to say, getting through that. Arverni's archers. I wouldn't shoot this angle. It's just not a great angle. If anything, if you're going to shoot that, have somebody from over here shoot it from this direction. You, as as Arverni, should probably be shooting over here. That's kind of the tough part about Tarsus, especially this area, is that is the thing that makes it very tough to defend this spot is that the attacking archers can get fantastic angles to either side of the defender's, like, spots. Thorax Swords, 33 kills, 68. I think we're actually shooting at the back of this. I think I'm shooting at the back of this. Another breach here. Syracuse really taking the brunt of this side. My axe is 67 kills. The Celtics seem to be doing okay though. They did send something through the gate. Egyptian infantry with 32 kills. And here comes more units through the breach. Getting some really nice jabby volleys into them. Sam Knight Warriors at 45 kills with no losses so far. It looks like he's going to go up on to the wall. Probably to throw down into the Carthaginian units. Now I got caught sleeping here. My archers got caught in a... Basically in a pinch. You can see on one side we've got the longbow hunters of Swaby. And we got the Cretans from Carthage on the other side. And actually, I bet Arverni was involved in this too. So my stuff, my archers being in the middle, were outnumbered by four, seven, um, eleven archers. That's not really what we want. Not good at all. You can see we defeated the first unit that came out, came through that breach. Sam Knight Warriors now at 84 kills and no losses. So we are taking advances from three spots in the center here. 
Then we have another spot here, but this is pretty easily defended with just one unit. Celtic Warrior up to 80 kills, doing pretty well there. Over here, you can see Syracuse has set up a pretty nasty trap at both of his breaches. So, probably not going through there, at least not for now. On the left, it looks like Chimera is doing all right. So got some hoplites here with 39 kills. Another hoplite. I think his step archers. All right, so one of them's at 78 kills. Now, this is not something you see very often. A Chimera player not bringing heavy Chimerian archers. He brought all step archers, which have the same damage as the Chim heavy Chimerians. They just don't have the armor of the heavy Chimerians. One Celtic gone, 43 kills on that one. 94 kills on this one. And the Thorax, 101. A lot of archer fire coming in on the Celtics though. That's our archer fire as the defender. Now over here we are getting pretty hard pressed on this side here. Oops, sorry about that. Axe is 102 kills. Sam Knight Warrior is doing pretty damn well with 122. Breach, what do we got? Thorax with 92, very well done. Same thing, they don't wanna go into this right now due to the dirty, dirty little double pincer we've got going there. One, you're gonna get jabbies from both sides and then anything you bring in to either side is gonna get hit from behind. More axemen moving forward. That's, I believe what I brought the most of was just standard axes. And maybe some stuff coming up from Syracuse. Ah, so Chimera did the same thing. He brought three step archers and then brought two picked peltis, which are extremely, extremely good. Very, very good unit. You can see I've got a peltis up now. You know, if we could get shots over here, man, it'd be great. But due to the Gallic Hunters on the outside, we don't really have the ability to do that. Oh, I hate to say it, but I think I missed the uh, step cavalry, the step lancers. I don't think they did a whole lot. I think they got seen at the last second, and so I don't think they had too great of kills on them. Tiddy's probably gonna yell at me for missing that. Ooh, here we go. What do you got? Libyan infantry and a royal thorax sword from Egypt moving up. If I remember correctly, Egypt had like just a ton of royal peltis and royal thorax swords. Down the center, there we go. Royal thorax swords right down the middle. As well as some sort of barbarian unit. Can't tell what it is though. Oh, it's just Celtic. It's like, I can't see its flag. What is it? Thorax Sword is going to have some issues here. The Royal Thorax, even though it's not like super, super good, it is better than a Thorax, so. Although I do find it funny when you have like a Thorax Sword selected, they'll say, Royal Thorax Swords! And it's like, but you're not. And here comes the Archer Fire into the back of that Thorax Sword. And then you can see Gallic Hunters shooting over into our Peltist units. I think Chimeria was trying to move his archers up to try and kind of kick off these longbow hunters, but I don't think he was having too much luck. Royal Thorax at 41 kills now. Now, one of my axes has been doing pretty good getting jabby tosses, but here's the Peltis. They're going to get shots right into the back of these units right here. 
can see the Thorax Sword at the middle, 102 kills, but really is not doing too hot right now. Try to get some jabbies in before I go in and try and hold this breach. On the right, we basically just have this Sam Knight Warrior. That's the same Sam Knight Warrior that's been here this whole time, by the way. Uh, 169 kills on it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I remember that I think Armored Scarab is playing Egypt. Just because I I think he has a habit of doing kind of armies like this, and, and I'm pretty sure that's him. Once again, oh, excuse me. Coffee went down the wrong pipe there. Once again, we will see at the end of the battle who is who. Balearic Slingers coming up. You'd see some of these Balearics have already been getting really good kills. We brought them to the center because we want them to shoot right down the middle into that gate area. Real cramped up spot. I'm not sure what the heavy horse is doing here. Pelt is still doing pretty good, 46 kills. On the left, just not a lot ha happening. Chimera is kind of not kind of getting to take it easy and he's being able to kind of filter stuff over if needed on the right Syracuse holding stoutly 34 kills with Sam Knights being backed up by some sword followers now heavy horse somehow got through I'm not really sure how but I mean he's just gonna lose his his heavy horse so I think a little bit of a waste there Now you can see we were able to kind of overpower one of the flanks, allowing us to wrap around this Royal Thorax. We're trying to get rid of it as quick as possible. But Libyan infantry now coming in. They're going to go over and assault the hoplites here from Chimeria. Backed up by some axes. And then, now this is a little bit of a problem. You can see the thorax is breaking. I have my axe kind of set up on this side. I guess it does leave it a little bit open that if we want something here to shoot at them, we can. And I think maybe that's what Syracuse is going to do. Thorough spears into that. I'm also taking that one minor unit over and I'm going to put it in that spot. Ooh, here we go, Sword Followers now in, 49 kills. They're going up against Chosen Swords. Bowie, I will win this. Chosens aren't terrible, but Sword Followers are definitely better. Top three units, like med tier units, I, in my opinion, are Tribal Warriors, Galatian Legionaries, and Sword Followers. Tribal Warriors probably number one. Sword Followers and Galatia Legionaries, I really don't know which one I'd put at two and which one I'd put at three. Here we go, archers into the back of the Hoplites. That's the Cretans from, from uh, Carthage, excuse me. Now Egypt, his stuff is, what did he bring? He brought two slingers and, is that it? Yeah, I think it is. So far, we're happy with how this is going, but this is a big problem for us. Hellenic Royal Guard from Egypt coming right down the center gate. Um, that's a big problem because we don't have anything to deal with this. You can see, I believe that's the slingers from Syracuse firing into this. Egypt just trying to get his unit into the city so he can kind of get it set up and out of that awkward position. What did they, have they lost any? Okay, so they have taken losses. They are taking losses. Um, but the problem is that they're forcing a way into this city. And here we go. Carthage is now looping around with the unit. That hoplite broke. So, honestly, we are losing a little bit of ground here. I have a Colchian Noble General in here. Axemen coming in, trying to kind of shore up the breach if possible. I think I'm trying to loop around and 
and surround this Libyan infantry. All right, Helena Grow Guard just got nuked by pretty much every range unit we had available, and they are now gone. But it definitely has put us on a back foot. Left flank still pretty much unassaulted at this point. Right flank still kind of under the same amount that it was. Come over here. Sword followers 114. Going up some Gallic warriors, Celtic warriors. Now the Samnite warriors in the back are still getting some good javi tosses. They're up to 50 kills. Still looks like they have a little bit of ammo too. All right, we might have shored up this defense a little bit here. Axemen going in, got some sword followers in as well. 182 kills. Thorough Spear now holding the center gate. Oh, an Osworn coming up from Bowie. I get the got the hard hitters coming in. He's probably going to come in to the left or to the right here. Living infantry, 89 kills. Nicely done there. Coming through the breach, Royal Thorax Swords again. Here we go. Egypt is very painful for us because they brought so many high tier units. So meaning most of our mid tier stuff, they'll just cut right through. You can see the longbow hunters from Swaby once again shooting into the backs of the gate units here. Now the Osworn going to go in. I'm not sure that I personally agree with the Osworn going into this spot. Mostly due to the fact that it's been getting shot up by Swaby this whole time. I did bring an eastern archer over here to help with the step archers. Still got my Peltis and a couple Eastern Archers back here. Now Chosen Sword is coming and engaged on this side. The Libyans and Celtics here doing solidly well. The, the Hoplite's not really getting, I mean 62 kills isn't bad for a Hoplite. But in reality, they're just buying us time. Time, time, time. Yeah, the Osworn got out of there. He lost 20 men and said, nope. Libyans now 138 kills. They're doing very well. But look at the sword followers, 202. Cycle two Axemans. Axemen? Axemen. Here we go, another Chimerian Hoplite moving in. Thorax, Royal Thorax Swords, 170 kills now. Oh, this is bad. Look at that. Thor, the Thorough Spear is about to break. Got a Peltist in there holding it. Axeman moving somewhere. I just don't know where I'm going with it. Thorough Spear now broke. You can see I'm getting jabby tosses into the into this little crevice here. But this is a problem. Big problem. We have one, one Peltis unit holding that back. Sword followers moving up. Still nothing happening on this side. Sam Knight now finally breaking 154 kills on this one. This one's been over here for a while though. But we do have Sword Follower, you know, keeping it, <laughs> keeping it short up. Not sure, yeah, I'm like, why are we not sending it? I think this unit's gonna go here. It's Royal Thorax, 207 kills now. Very, very well done there by Egypt. Honestly, I think the biggest hassle has been these these archers hitting us in the backs. But we're holding decently well. We've had a couple kind of 
iffy situations, but we've been able to kind of pull them out. Royal Peltis now in, a very good unit. Swordmasters now in. Yeah, this is we're we're not having a good fun here. Axe is broke. Big breach here. Is this when we decide to run away? Is this when we fall back? Thorough Spears holding back a Swordmaster and a depleted Libyan infantry. Yeah, I think this is when we pull back. You can see the sword followers running away. Got one of my axemen going to try and surround this for a moment. Just trying to do damage. Royal Thorax Sword with 28 men left with, what are we, 235 kills. Royal Peltist in now with, what, three Royal Peltists? No, two Royal Peltists and another Hellenic Royal Guard. Axeman about to break. Hopefully we can get some of this stuff out of here. Peltis from Syracuse running away. Good Syracuse general. In a, in a goofy way there. And I think they are also giving up this side now. Probably just going to hold here and here. Syracuse general falling back. This one we're trying to figure out how we want to set up. But this is also where that fact that they didn't bring artillery comes into play again. You know, we're going to be able to set up however we want to in this center area with no repercussions because they're not set up to do anything about it. They have no artillery to keep us from stacking as much as, as much stuff together as we want to. Got a hoplite holding, just giving us time to set up here, as well as a thorough spear that hopefully has some ammunition. A little bit of an advance on the right hand side. You can see what we're doing. We're setting up kind of here and here. I've got a couple Colgian nobles. The problem is that I can't go in hoplite formation because these these areas are a little too big for for my units in hoplite formations, and, and that's where you want those Colgian nobles. So what we kind of need to do here is we kind of need to do something like this and this and this and this. Two units to hold the breaches. Here we go. No jabbies from this side? Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. And they're gonna go, oh, look at this, good move. They're gonna go cut this off and then surround that. Nice move there, Syracuse and Bowie I. Well done. Because you cut this off, allows you to surround this unit to kill it faster. Well done. Nice play. It's one thing, I've said it before, that's one thing I love about, you know, doing the replays of battles you've already been in is you get to go and see what happens on the other side of the battlefield that you weren't on. Look at that. Gallic Warrior just completely crushed. And now... They can, if they want, they can return to their previous posi positions. A beautiful, beautiful move there. Hoplite just holding out, buying us time. To be honest with you, I might fast forward a little bit. We just have that one unit there. They're getting kills, but in reality, there's not a whole lot happening other than that.
think Peltis from Chimera did come up and are starting to use their javies here. Pig Peltis are a, a very special unit because high tier Peltis units like this, especially the heavily armored ones like this with 65 armor, they usually only get seven ammunition. That's what we consider a heavy Peltis. Light Peltis, the ones with pretty low armor, they're the, usually the ones that get 10 ammunition. Well, pig Peltis are special because they have the 65 armor, but they also get the 10 ammunition, which means they got god tier amounts of kills. I mean, or, or like just jabbies. It's just a, a ton of javelins. They can tank. I mean, you look at this. They've been getting shot by the archers over here. They've lost one and two, or two each. Looks like. No, one and two. Yeah. 108 kills, 85 kills. The Hoplite is starting to break here. Hellenic Royal Guard is, that's what they're trying to kill is the Hellenic Royal Guard. If we get rid of that, then we can have a little bit of peace of mind. I'm not sure if Carthage brought any any pikes, but that's something we really don't want to see. It's just not something that we really have an answer for other than our archers. We don't have pikes of our own. I don't think Syracuse brought any, or if he did, they aren't very good ones. Yeah, I don't see any pikes for Syracuse. But look at this. This is what happens when you have no artillery. Make sure that someone brings artillery. You know, it doesn't matter the, like the map. Somebody should have artillery. Otherwise, the defenders can basically set up in any way they want to. Could you imagine if artillery was here to shoot at this? Boom, 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 boom. You'd get like 300 kills. On one volley. Here we go. Now you can see how we're doing it. We got Hoplite, Chimera Noble, and then this one, unfortunately, they didn't set up, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> Royal Thorax with 279. That's the one from the from the gate early on. Uh, let him live. Poor guys. Still nothing on the right. On the left, you got a pretty depleted Chosen Sword. Royal Peltis moving forward. There you go, Chosen Sword's broke. On the left, you got Swordmaster and depleted Royal Peltis. On the right, Royal, a half-strength Royal Peltis going in. Uh-oh, Levy Freeman coming in. Careful, everyone. Ooh, there's a Step Lancer over here. That might get caught out by the Riders of the Hunt. Looks like it. Yeah, that, that Step Lancer's gone. They're not super good. At, well, he's going to try and run away, I guess. Well, actually, he might just lead him. Look at that. He might just lead him right to the gate and get free kills. Right as a hunt, almost 100 kills. Still no advance on the right here. I don't think they plan on it anytime soon. But on the center, we've got Royal Peltis and Swordmasters and Swordmasters. Bounce power is pretty much dead even. Easterns, or Egyptians lingers, excuse me. Cretan archers. They've got their noble fighters sitting here in range. I'm a little surprised by that. I'm also a little surprised we're not shooting at them. Bunch of blood sworn. Royal thorax sword, general. Look at this breach. Could you imagine, like, having to clean this up? Just an obscene amount of bodies. And honestly, from both, from both sides. You getting some jabbies here on the uh, thorax swords? Celtic Wars with 79 kills. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. 
The Nova Fighter is down to 135. Bloodsworn going in, but going into the back of his own. There you go. Pull out. There you go. Good job. Bloodsworn 85, 86. Man, they've got a lot of kills. This one's fresh. God, such a good unit, man. Such a good unit. Step archers, what are we shooting at here? Ooh, noble fighters that have exposed themselves to you. <laughs> that archer had a beautiful shot there. Now my Colk, I did. So we switched out. Colk and nobles came out while the sword followers went in there as well as a Syracuse Beltist. Step archers seem to be out of our ammo, what, 100, 207 kills. Got my Eastern archers up here trying to engage some of those units in the middle. Ah, so Syracuse did bring pikes, there we go. You can see actually sword followers and a thorax sword actually it pushing this side while the pike set up at the angle to cover the breach. Balearic Slingers, 118 kills and zero kills. So this one has a lot of ammo. Volkia Nobles with 60, Hoplites 33. Sword Followers just racking them up with 83 now. Bloodsworn doing pretty well with 117. Just a mosh pit in the center area. A little bit of a switcheroo, switching out the Blood Sworn. That's exactly how you should use them. Well done. It's the thing about Blood Sworn, you need to keep them moving. Back and forth, charge them in, pull them out. Charge them in, pull them out. Quick fire. Obviously, you know, charge them in and let them get, you know, let the charge kind of settle in and get, you know, the kills racked up. You know, probably five, seven seconds, then pull them out. Make sure as you pull them out, you switch them with another unit. Pelt or Balearic Slingers, 158 kills. Did he bring all Balearics? Yes, he did. 194 and 96. Eastern Slingers just getting wrecked right now. Then Thorough Spear moving up. This guy might have ammo. Yes, he does. Look at that. You can see how, look how they're holding. See how the spear point is at the bottom? That means they're, they have ammunition. That's a pelt, that's a javelin. But now that they're engaged, you can see they pull their spears out. My pelt is 98 kills and they have ammo. You can see they're ready to fire. On the right, look how far they are pushing forward, Syracuse and Bowie I. And they're using their pikes to force their way through. Even if the pikes don't get a ton of kills, it forces the enemy to pull off of them. So what the defender or the attackers need to do is they need to set up some sort of kill box for the for those. Thorax 166, Swordfaller 126. It looks like the Hippias Lancers went in and finished off the heavy horse from our Bernie. Bounce power, I would say, is still dead even at this point. 173, two, oh my God, 214. Pretty sure my Peltus out of ammo now going in just to once again fill the breach. 
157 on the Chosens, 98 on the Royal Thorax. Bloods weren't charging in, but they didn't cycle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, maybe. Yeah, okay, good. So the Bloodsworn did see it, and they're going to fill the breach, or the, the gap here. On the right-hand side, Noble Fighters, 133 kills, but only 32 men left. Swordmaster's now in, but they're going up against the Chimerian Noble Infantry General. Chim uh, the Chimerian Nobles are a very, re honestly, a really good unit. The only downside to them is they only have 80 armor, which is not not fantastic for a hoplite unit. Bloodsword 150 and 138. Royal Thorax Sword with 102. Holtzman, we await your command. Looks like the Balearic Slayer. Or wait, no, who's this? This is the Peltus still kind of shooting over into those. On the right, they actually pulled back. So they actually disengaged over here. Probably the right move. Looks like Gallic Hunters have actually moved forward and are actually shooting over at the Balearics. But look at this, Balearic yeah, seems to be out of ammo. And this one is not. Look at that, there's the quick reload. They're already double chevroned. Pike's now moving over. That may not be a fun thing for the attackers. Now that those Hellenic Royal Guard are gone, yeah, this could be rough. Camera Nobles up to 19, Swordmasters at 45. We were kind of worried about the Cav moving over this way. We didn't really have anything to stop that. Fire on the enemy. Here comes another Swordmaster. Well, it's it's Swordmaster that's been it. Look at them, 300 kills though. That Swordmaster is doing extremely well. Is that my Eastern? Yeah, so that's my Eastern Archers. It looks like this is the out of ammo Balearic. Pike and Colkian Nobles. The Chimera Noble does seem to be getting whittled down here with the combination Noble Fighters and Sword Masters. Yeah, this is where we were worried about the Cav Gen. I do have two depleted Axe units that I believe, if I remember correctly, I think that I send them over here to fill the... Uh, yep, look at that. Almost on cue. Uh oh, a little bit of a break here, but look at this. Swaby popping his special abilities. Ariovistus, general. So let's look at it. Relentless gives attack, and unity gives morale. Typically, it's something you want to use as your units are charging in, but it still works well. I think he probably used it mostly for the morale effect. Trying to keep his units in combat longer. We do have an engagement over here. Thorax Swords versus Osworn. But now the Pike's going to push their way into that combat. Okay, so this is a separate Pikeman. So you got the pike over here, and you got a pike over here. This one has 49 kills. Ooh, there we go. We got a curse from the hex bears over here. It's trying to break our morale. So typically, see how this is yellow? That's when you want to use that. 
so it's a good good call. It's even better if you can find red. See how this is red? That's an even better spot. So if, if you use that, sometimes you can get this 47-man swordmaster or sword follower to break. That 47-man sword follower has plenty of kills left. In All right, so we went in, or we're going to go in here, I'm pretty sure, because I think we go in to save Chimerius Gen. At speed! Find new targets! Black Ark! Oh, Sworn General now going in. Oh, look at this. That's because we're counterattacking. Sword followers pushed up. Oh, Sworn going to go in. Over here, same thing. Pikes and sword followers pushing forward. Forward, men! The big melee outside. Hoping the Hippias Lancers got in, got the charge in that. If not, that's really not good for them. So we noticed something very bad, and that was that the only thing that was holding this flank was our <laughs> range units. So I basically had to abandon Chimeria's general to send these units just to try and hold this spot as long as possible. Our hope is that if we can just hold this, then this can continue through and wrap around it. The Vance Lancer Gen charging the General's bodyguard. And here we go, the wrap around, and then using units to cut that off. So we got the Osworn General wrapping around the other Osworn General, 178, 146. This is a blood sworn that unfortunately I don't think is going to get the kills it should. Chimerian Noble Infantry holding out, you know, just as long as we need them to. So well done. Longbow Hunters apparently still have ammo. Oh, that's dirty. Celtic Skirmishers right in the back of the Blood Sworn. They're probably going to turn right into the... O oh, my God. Okay, never mind. That's the... All right, so the Bowie I.O. is worth 220, the Arverni 168. All right, so he actually turned to shoot over here. Out here in the melee, Noble Riders 170, Base Lancers 176. Carthaginian General charging into the city. Balance Bauer has, as you can see, very much shifted in our favor. Swordmaster's done pretty well, 127 with two chevrons on it. Now, unfortunately, this Carthaginian general is going to be a real pain in the ass. Oh, Bloodsworn got a nice javi toss into that. To pay a slancer. You can see a bunch of the units kind of all by themselves breaking. Chimeria's general's dead. But I think everybody else is alive. I think Bowie, I, myself, and Syracuse are all alive. Carthage, like I said, apparently is just going to be a pain in the ass. Let's fast forward a little bit here, see if he even gets a chance. 
army losses are kicking in, so. But unfortunately for him, we have something waiting for him. So for cavalry to capture a place, they have to dismount. They can neutralize it, but they cannot capture it. So you can see he dismounts so he can um, fully capture the point. I don't think he has enough time. He has to hold it for a certain amount of time after it captures. Fast forward real quick. He's just trying to run around at this point. All of our artillery is shooting way short. What the hell? Now, the problem is he didn't fully cap it. Yeah, apparently, our artillery can't hit a broadside of a barn. Oh, there we go. And that scares away the horses. And that is it. He broke. All right. So first off, myself. Okay, Dave was the Syracuse player. So myself as Colkas with 2010 kills. 178 and 139, the Colkian Nobles. 258 on the Eastern Archers. Axes did okay. 127, 119. That's all right. I'll take it. Titty Ronda's Chimeri was 1754. The Step Lancers really were more of a distraction than anything, but look at the Picked Belt. It's 239, 159. The Step Archers, 249, 208. Sop Lights really just held. Dave, the Vassal, as Syracuse with 2266. His Balearic Slinger is just doing fantastic. Capaeus Lancers, 232. I mean, just very, very well done there. Finally, Mexi as Bowie, I with 2563. Got the Osworn, 262. Um, Osworn, 204. Look at the Sword Followers, 205, 200, 201, 282. All right, for the attackers, we've got Chatty as um, Arverni with 1818. Osworn did, pr pr they did solid. The Gallic Hunters, 120, 105. Chosen Swords did pretty good. Dairy Farmer really carrying as Swaby with 24, 26. Look at this, Sword Masters, 334. Then his Noble Riders, 196. Then his oh, Bloodsworn just did really, really well. Longbow Hunters, 127. Trojans as uh, Carthage with 1979. Pretty solid there. Cretan Archers 131 on both of them, actually. That's not very common. Libyan Infantry 214, 197, 154 on the Noble Fighters. Finally, Armored Scarab as Egypt with uh, 1333. He really took the brunt of that initial assault. 279, um, 130, 140, 176 on the Royal Peltist. Well, that is going to be it for today's battle. Thank you guys so much for joining. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And if you want to get the, if you want to have battle replays uh, done by me, make sure you're, that you're in the Discord. Um, the Discord should be in the, disc the description. There is a replay drop um, thing in the di Discord where you can put them. If you don't know how to, pinned in the replay drop, there is a little short video about how to put videos in there. Well, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much, and we will see you next time.